Under youngsters grab their gloves and bats for a clinic in downtown Omaha. It's to teach the fundamentals, give them a leg up on the competition, and remind everyone of the namesake. Brian Mastery live now with the details for us. Hey, Brian. Jacqueline, John, this is the third year for the Chris Gradiville Gratitude Camp at the Creighton University Practice Facility. Now, he was the director of operations for Creighton University in 2021. It was an unpaid position, but it showed just how much he loved the game and wanted to give back. But in September of 2021, he was shot and killed on his way to an Omaha home after being hired to make bathroom repairs. It was a homicide that made no sense to any of the investigators. So this camp at the Creighton University Practice Facility started to highlight how Chris Gradiville lived in his 37 years, not how he died. 270 youngsters came to learn baseball skills from some of Chris's closest friends, his mentors, his coaches, all volunteering to make a difference. And to remind everyone that it's important to have gratitude, be positive and appreciative of this game and the friends that we make for life. Later in life, I'd answer that question. He became such a mentor that this would be exactly what his purpose was, and that's why we're proud and honored to carry it on. Eventually, there'll be a large enough endowment to hand out the first ever leadership scholarship honoring the legacy of Chris Gradiville. As for the criminal case, John and Jacqueline, it is still pending. The suspected killer recently filed paperwork to claim an insanity defense. We're live in Midtown on your side. Brian Mastery, 6 News. We are on first alert for.